Welcome back to Wrestling World. We have a lot of interesting and hot topics to discuss today regarding Peyton Royce's disappearance. We'll also discuss how Alexa Bliss found herself in the middle of the Aaliyah and Murphy drama. So let's start things off with Peyton Royce. This is a weird one, but honestly, we should have all seen this coming. So remember a few weeks ago, we had that strange match that came out of nowhere on Raw, where the losing team had a disband between the Riot Squad and the Iconics. When I saw the stipulation for this match, I thought the Riot Squad would be the team disbanding, because that made more sense than disbanding the Iconics, with no real build-up to the breakup. But in typical WWE fashion, they went with breaking up the Iconics, with no real build-up to it. I was fine with the concept of breaking up the Iconics. Obviously, they have to go solo at some point in their careers. They can't stay as a tag team forever, but I just didn't like how the Iconics breakup was handled because it felt so flat, anticlimactic, and there was just no story leading up to the breakup at all. It just happened out of nowhere for that cheap shock value, and that was really it. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay both shared emotional messages on social media about their goodbyes to each other, and we thought that was it. WWE followed up their split with the both of them having a singles match against each other, which also felt a little bit off because there was no real buildup or reason to have them face off against each other as well. Don't get me wrong, I want to see Peyton Royce versus Billy Kay, but for that specific match on Raw a few weeks ago, there was just no story or reason behind the match. Yeah, Peyton Royce threw Billy Kay into the Raw underground ring the week prior, but I just think that wasn't enough story for their matchup. Either way, they both came out with new music and had their match with Peyton Royce picking up the win. Peyton Royce picking up the win came as no surprise because all we've been hearing the past few months is that they're really high on Peyton Royce, so it makes sense why they went with her to win. But take a look at what Peyton Royce and Billy Kay have been doing since their breakup. It's been hard to follow and has been all over the place. WWE made it seem like Peyton and Billy were no longer allowed to be partners and will be going down their own paths. But then, we see Peyton Royce and Billy Kay together backstage. The other superstars did acknowledge that and ask them, were they together and weren't they supposed to break up? Billy Kay tried to explain it by saying that they couldn't tag with each other anymore, but no one said anything about them not being able to be friends and support each other, which is technically true. It's not like WWE banned them from having communication with each other, but that line by Billy really gave me the feeling that WWE was regretting that decision to break them up and was looking for little loopholes to keep them together. Billy Kay even served as Peyton Royce's manager later on that same night, which really goes back to what I was saying before. Are they regretting the breakup and finding ways to link them back up? It definitely seems like that. They made it look like Peyton and Billy would never cross paths again. But over the past few weeks, it seems like they never broke up. Another issue is the constant disappearance for Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. One week they're on Raw, then they'll disappear for a few weeks and randomly pop up again. There was a report a few weeks ago that Vince McMahon has forgotten about his plans for Peyton's push. But the latest reports claim something a little different. They say that they didn't forget about her, but just dropped whatever they had planned which is still unfortunate when you think about it. So there's a lot to worry about for Peyton Royce and Billy Kay fans. It's slowly getting to the point where it feels like they have no direction for them on Raw. Like we talked about before, I didn't mind the idea of a split for the Iconics, but the way the breakup actually unfolded was so weird and unexpected, but hopefully they're able to fix this up and back on track. This storyline between Aaliyah and Murphy is quickly becoming one of the most heavily discussed and controversial storylines on WWE programming. There seems to be two main arguments among the fans. One side says, well, she's 19 and there's a 13 year difference. And the other side says, they're both adults, it's just a storyline and it's not even real. There's a lot of people saying a lot of different things about this storyline, but I think that sums up the two sides. One side thinks it's a bit weird, and the other side says it's just a storyline. 
Let's get into what happened this week because there was a lot to cover. We see Murphy texting on his phone. Seth Rollins comes over and tells Murphy to go change. So Murphy walks away and leaves his phone. This moment right here bothered me just a little from a logical point of view. Everyone's always aware of where their phone is, especially when they're leaving your room. So for Murphy to literally just be on his phone texting at Leah, then completely forget about his phone and leave it behind seems a little ridiculous. Of course, everyone is human. They'll forget their phones. But Murphy was in the middle of this conversation with Aaliyah that he didn't want anyone to know about. He should have been even more aware and alert about where his phone is because of what he was doing. So for him to just walk out of the room and not realize where's my phone right away does seem a bit ridiculous. But that leads us to Seth Rollins taking the phone and reading through the messages. The Mysterio family comes out for a segment with Jerry Lawler. Aaliyah is asked about Seth and Murphy and she talks about how bad they are, but you can just tell in her face that she wasn't being honest. Seth comes on screen and reveals the reason why Aaliyah wasn't being honest about Murphy. Seth reveals the conversation between Aaliyah and Murphy. Let's take a look at it. Murphy said, I just want to apologize again. I hope you're doing okay. Aaliyah said, I'm fine. It's just been a lot. Murphy responded with, I get it, but if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Aaliyah said, I might just have to take you up on that offer. By the way, happy birthday. The question I have for this moment right here is, how in the world did Seth Rollins know Murphy's password and all these other details to get to those messages? Anyway, the Mysterio family tries to talk to Aaliyah, but she walks away again. We then get to the match between Dominic and Murphy. Aaliyah comes running out to tell Dominic to drop the kendo stick and accidentally ends up costing him the match. Dominic is furious with Aaliyah and says that she is naive. This leads to Aaliyah slapping him and walking away. I also wanted to talk about Aaliyah's line of, he's not like Seth, because we talked about how horrible of a line that would be for her to use several weeks ago. But WWE still ended up using it. That line makes no sense because Murphy has literally tried to injure Dominic's eye and so many other superstars' eye, so in reality, yes, he is exactly like Seth. The Mysterio family segment sparked the most interest on WWE's YouTube highlights and has the most highest viewership compared to other Raw segments. Everyone was talking about it, including Alexa Bliss. Alexa found herself in the middle of her own controversy in regards to this Mysterio storyline. In a now deleted tweet, Alexa quoted the DM screenshot from WWE and said, Honestly, I don't blame him, lol. Shoot your shot, bud. Twitter came after Alexa very viciously after that tweet. Alexa locked her Twitter account and responded by saying, Try to make one comment supporting my ex, and now I'm the bad guy. Do I know her or her age? No. Was trying to be supportive of Murphy? Yes. Back off and calm down, people. Just happy Murphy is getting the success he's worked for. That's all. Be bothered by something else. One fan responded to Alexa and said, he's 32 and she's 19. In which Alexa responded by saying, I just turned 29 and my boyfriend is 38. It was just chaos all over social media and not a topic you want to touch on at all. We know that WWE loves getting people talking and creating controversy, so they must be absolutely loving the Mysterio storyline response from the fans. Numbers don't lie, the Mysterio family segments put up better viewership on WWE's YouTube channel than the WWE Championship match. So it tells you that more fans are interested to see what's going on here rather than a WWE title match. What are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.